be clarified. So many charges. That's all right. That's all right. They say, you see, there's a dispute. There has been a dispute about Jesus and his mother. There was no dispute about the parentage of Muhammad. No dispute. There's a dispute about Jesus. So Allah says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 171, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, O people of the book, O Jews and Christians, La taghlu fi dinikum. Do not go to extremes in your religion. Wa la taqunu ala Allah illa al-haq. And don't say anything about Allah except the truth. Innam al-Masih, most certainly the Messiah, translated Christ. Innam al-Masih, Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus, the son of Mary, Rasulullah, is the messenger of God. Wa kalimatuhu, and a word proceeding from him. Al-Qaha ila Maryam wa ruhum minhum, which he bestowed upon Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him. Fa'aminu billahi wa rasuli. So believe in Allah and his messenger. They are going to extremes. One says that because he's got no father, he is the illegitimate child of Mary. This is what they say, the Jews, that he is an illegitimate child. The other says, because he got no father, his father is God. They are both going to extremes. So Allah tells us what is the true position is, that look, he is the true messenger of God. He is the word which Allah bestowed upon Mary. So believe in Allah and his messenger, Jesus, that he is a messenger of God. And because there are insinuations, allegations made against Maryam, the Quran comes to absolve her of all those filthy, dirty charges. Jews, the Jews. I wouldn't have quoted at all, wallah, what the Jews say. I just said illegitimate. I would not use the other word. But I have with me now an authority, and I'm glad also we are not in the masjid. We are, this is in the precincts of the masjid, but this is a hall. Here is a book written by a leading Christian called Josh McDowell. He is the head of the campus crusade. Campus crusade, you know, universities. He goes to universities and he goes and delivers lectures to them. And according to our friend Shorosh, he says, you know, campus crusade for Christ has been raised up with a goal to preach Christ to the whole world by 1988. That's Another six months time. By then now, they were going to preach Christ to the whole world. By now, that's what God raised up this campus crusade for. He says here, Josh McDowell, uh, a graduate of Wheaton College, and Magnum Lodi, graduate of Talbot Theological Seminary, is one of the most popular speakers on college and university campuses today. In the past 10 years, he has spoken to more than 5 million students. Did that comes nowhere near that. He has to go on TV only to reach millions. Otherwise, shh, very difficult. A few hundred here, a few hundred there, 12,000 there. Hmm. He has spoken to more than 5 million students and faculty over 550 universities in 53 countries. This mighty man, he says, he wants to prove that Jesus is a historical person. He's no myth. And to prove that, he produces the Jewish Talmud, Jewish religious book, to prove that Jesus is historical. What does he say? This is very interesting. To prove this Jesus is historical, he quotes the Jewish Talmud, religious book of the Jews. It says here, Jesus is referred to as Ben Pandera. In the Jewish Talmud, he is described as Ben Pandera. Ben means son of Pandera. Pandera was a Roman soldier who is alleged to have raped Maryam. And he produced this child. See, Ben Pandera in the Jewish Talmud. Who is God talking? This is a Christian missionary talking. If we said this, it calls for murder. Wallah. If we utter these words, it calls for murder. We should be shot. Anybody talking like this, that... Listen. Talmud title referring to Jesus bin Pandera or bin Pantere and Jeshu bin Pandera. Many scholars say Pandera is a play on words, a travesty on the Greek words of Virgin, Parthenos and so and so. And on the eve of the Passover, 
It says, Ar Shimon bin Azazi, as I said concerning Jesus, I found a genealogical role in Jerusalem wherein was recorded such an one is a bastard of an adulteress. This guy here is quoting the Jewish Talmud, they're talking about Jesus, that he's a bastard of an adulteress. And again, he's a bastard again. And again and again, shh, astaghfirullah. To prove what? This is to prove what? <laughs> Listen, this is proving now to you. These independent accounts, Jewish Talmud, not talking about the Bible now, so the Jewish Talmud says, prove that in ancient times, even the opponents of Christianity never doubted the historicity of Jesus. To prove that he was historical, have to quote the Jewish Talmud to say that Jesus was a bastard, he was a bastard, he was a, he was a son of this Pandera, Roman soldier who raped Maria. This is what the Christians took down to. You see, that they come down to using the words, quoting the Jewish Talmud, that the Jews say that he is the illegitimate child of Mary. The Christians say, no, he's the son of God. So Allah tells us, says, no, he's neither this nor that. He is a true messenger of God. He is the Messiah, the Messiah. Love him, respect him, revere him, follow him. But worship is due to God alone. Worship him, the Father in heaven, who is the real God. So, you see, the Christians now, they have developed new techniques in approaching Muslims. This, our friend Shorosh, unfortunately, he is still living in the past. See, the Christians had tried, the method that he was trying, they had tried before. Attacking Islam, attacking the Holy Prophet, attacking the Quran. These are old-fashioned ways. They have developed new techniques. The real missionaries now, they have developed new techniques. This is an old-fashioned thing, I think the Arab mentality, I don't know where he got it from, from Palestine, he's still there, in the, he's living in the past. Shorosh is living in the past. The new techniques are that these people, they come to us now, and they want to find common grounds. This common grounds is what Allah tells us to find with them. We haven't done it. Allah says, Qul, Ya Ahl al Ta'ala. Tell them, O people of the book, O Jews and Christians, come, Ta'ala. Ila kalimatin sawa'im baynana wa baynakum. That we come to common terms as between us and you. Let us get onto a common platform. And the terms and conditions of getting together, Allah says, Allah na'abuda illallah, that we worship none but Allah, wa la nushrika bihi shay'an, and that we associate no partners with him, wa la yattakhiza ba'duna ba'dun arbaban min dunillah, and that we do not take from among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. فَإِن تَوَلَّوْا فَقُلُوا شَهَدُوا بِأَنَّا مُسْلِمُونَ But if they turn back, tell them that we are Muslims. We have submitted our wills to the will of Allah. Find common grounds which we have failed to do. So the Christians, through experience, they learn. Not the Quran, they didn't read the Quran, but it's a natural thing to do. If you want to approach somebody, find common, common in communication, find common grounds. They are trying to find common grounds with us. Look at it, they did it. The language that you love to hear, the language of the Quran, they use that. They want to find easy way of approaching you. Look at this, look at this book. No greater love. No greater love. Look at the beautiful rose. Multicolor. <laughs> what, what book is this? Guess, guess, guess. I give you a Quran. Anybody who guesses what this book is all about, I give you this Quran, deluxe edition. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> I'm beaten, I'm beaten. I'll give it to you then. As soon as I'm finished, you can have it. I only have one. I only have one, please. Yeah, this is now a new way. Did you receive one like this before? No? You just guessed it. Shh. Maybe I let the cat out of the bag inadvertently. <laughs> Look at this. No greater love. Any young man will lap it up. He'll pick it up from, from the bookstores. It's, but they give it to you free. Allah, they want to give to the Muslims free. No greater love. Who wouldn't like to read it? There was a time when I left this sort of thing, you know. Ooh, when I left school, I was reading true love and romance. Ooh, you know, just... And if I came across this, this seems to me like Lady Chatterley's lover. <laughs> then in South Africa. But I said, when well, here's something, they're giving it to me free. 